that I'm a Muslim, so okay. you know I never cross back over. You cross know? back over to what? See, like, like for example, that was the whole like thing I was just trying to give you that. See, when I cross back over, they call it revert. You feel me? Like people like us, like we revert. You feel me? Because we was born Muslim from the beginning. Okay. We was always born Muslim. You feel me? The reason I people ask me the re why why did I turn Islam? Why did I want yeah. to be a Muslim? Yeah. Now I always told them because just like earlier the earlier video, everything seemed right. You feel me? Like yeah. that's the way it was supposed to be. Right. But then when I go inside of a masjid, before we walk inside of the masjid, we make wudu. You feel me? Same thing God did. You feel me? God, you know, what they call it ablution. You feel me? That's what they call it. Okay. So it's the same thing. You feel me? We just call it wudu. Okay. And basically it's cleaning the mouth. You feel me? Okay. Before, before you speak to anybody in the morning, you should clean your mouth. You feel yeah. me? Now before you speak to God, you feel me, and make your five-time prayers, you yeah. should clean your mouth. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So clean our nose next. You want to get all that stuff out of there. You don't want to be yeah, speaking yeah, yeah. To in front of your Lord with, with stuff hanging out your nose. Yeah, yeah, hanging yeah. behind your ears. You don't right. want, you don't want, you feel me? Right. Is and, and we watch from left to right. You feel yeah. me? We, we read right. from left to right. Right. You feel me? All right, brother. So uh, introduce yourself. You uh, here? Tell us where you at and what are uh, you doing these days? I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I well, I'm in the heart of Atlanta right now. Right. I'm from Atlanta, uh, from the south side, from uh, Gobby Road. Um, I grew up on the south side of Atlanta. Uh, this is actually one of my first jobs in the city. I okay. Go to, I go to school at Georgia State. Okay. Uh, studying telecommunications programming. Telecommunications. Uh, so, if you want to know a little bit about why I took up that field, I was always Please. good with uh, technology. Cool. So, so tell us, Xavier, right? Mm -hmm. what, where you see yourself in uh, ten years? You would say, if you could plan it out. Life is unpredictable, but if you could plan it out, where you see yourself in 10, 15 years? Uh, where I do want to see myself yeah. at least 10, 15 years is at least opening up my own business. Right. Uh, and at least uh, really own my own business. You know. Yeah. And, be my own entrepreneur, be my own boss, you know. Yeah, bro. Uh, man, I hope, man, you live and you fulfill every every dream you have. I really do, man. Like, one day, I'm going to have a building smack center in yeah, the middle bro. of Atlanta, and it's right. going to say Land Group Property. That's our that's our family, you know. What is it called again? Land Group Property. Okay, gotcha. We have one of the most historical Coca-Cola yeah. buildings right here. You exactly. feel me? Yeah. Like, yeah, right here. if them, yeah. people know, they used to put Coke in it. Yep, they, sure is. They, they, that's the BCM building. They used to put Coke, Coke in the Coca-Cola. Yeah. But they don't do that no more. But everybody yeah. still knows yeah, still that know. that's what they used to do. Yeah. You die. Um... Hey, pause right quick, my boss calling me. Hey, I'll, oh. I'll keep this. Keep, keep, pause just right quick. Hey, Andy, man, I, I'm sorry. I was right in the middle of interviewing this guy, man. You need me real quick. So it's almost like if you put your hand in the bucket of water, you splash around as much as you want. Come back in about 20 minutes, you'll never tell that your hand was in the bucket. Because the water just kind of came back right? right well that's just kind of like life man and, man you're doing a lot of great things man but at the end of the day what if you're standing in judgment in two years or even a hundred years from now man what do you think happens to a person when they die the day that they die hmm that's a very good question i would like to like background mm -hmm. it a little bit okay before i would go into answering that okay that's okay because, yeah uh, like uh for example i I've been having problems with that myself. You know, okay. I done sure. had a lot of people that have died over the last Ooh. two, three years that's been very close to me that I've ran with every day. Wow, really? You know, and the further that, the closer they were to me or my friends, yeah, the crew man. that we hung in, yeah. the more we feel it to the point where we got to get serious about whatever sure. we're doing. Man, Because it hits so close. It's, it's a difference between when your homeboy and homeboy die, but it's yeah, man. when your partner you see every day and they die, yeah, that's man. different, you feel me? For sure. And if the, the soul is just different, you know? Yeah, bro. And man. I'm going to go ahead and just fold right into the question. I'm going to start trying to sure. beat around the bush no, a little yeah. bit. Take your time. What I want to do here on this earth mm -hmm. is anything sort of Malcolm X, you feel me, MLK, yeah. you feel me, Ali. It's not Biggie Small, whatever, Tupac, Shakur, yeah, whatever, sure. how you wanna, however you want to decipher it. Yeah, man. 
what they did was what he said was the most impossible thing for you to do, which was leave a dynasty here mm. without a hundred years. Like, like somebody I can name Black History for that's been dead almost a hundred years. Yeah, people still know their names. People, Hugh P. True. Newton. People still know their names. Yeah, you know bro. I mean? Yeah, that, yeah, Their yeah. legacy lives on because yeah, of sure. things that they did. What do I think happens <laughs> when we die? Yeah. Uh, to be honest. I think what happens when we die happens is the same thing that happened in the beginning. When I mean, I ask people this same question. Yeah. Do you do you remember before you was born? No, it's a good question. No, I don't remember before I was born. Like, do you remember being in your dad? No. You don't. No. That's exactly what's gonna happen when you die. Man, I hear you. Man, it, you're it, not gonna. It, it, your conscience is just. Yeah. I mean, I feel like, yeah, the spirit do, does live on through nutrients and shit, yeah. and it passes yeah. through life and rain, and then it yeah. goes back down and comes something better, but, right. you know, I just think, yeah, that's just the process of life. It's just, right. you know, whatever you left, that's what's going to live. On. Well, Zay, so let me ask you a question. Uh, do you believe God exists? Do I believe God exists? Yes, I do. All right, so do you have any any um, connection between God existing and his expectation for your life? You have any any connection between okay you you exist if God exists he has he has to have some type of expectation for your life he didn't just kind of make you and then just say hey good luck what kind of expectation you think he has for you uh, making changes in people and yep. making changes in myself you right. know uh, and we disrupt the ecosystem that's a great there's point. a difference you feel me so if you're disrupting the ecosystem that means you obviously are not doing what you're supposed to be doing in dude, that environment dude that's deep so it's just like <laughs> dude, that's, that's what i be looking like um yes i am kind of lost you feel me at tw at 24 years old that's and deep, yes yeah. i i feel like in 10 years maybe i i gain more wisdom but still yeah. i still be lost right so you ever had that thing where you fight against life yeah man for sure you know, and sometimes when you stop thinking about everything and just go with it uh -huh. and everything works out a little yeah, bit smoother sure, yeah. 